You're watching Morning Marketplace on Fox Richmond. Hey Richmond, I'm about to leave the studio and go out to the racetrack to meet a young, local, up-and-coming driver who's about to be a NASCAR star. Well, we are here at Richmond International Raceway and it's just another day at the office at the racetrack for 15-year-old Phenom Gray Galdi. Thank you so much you for joining for, us. Thank you guys for having me. I'm now, having a lot of fun. We're excited to have you yes, because you are a national up-and-coming star, but you're from Colonial Heights. Yes, ma'am. Tell me, you almost won Daytona in February. Yep. You came in second place in Pensacola. Yep, yep. Tell me about how you got started and, and where you've come. Well, I started racing at a very young age. I started racing at the age of three on uh, dirt bikes. So I've been doing it a very long time. Um, you know, being able to race dirt bikes taught me a lot from throttle control and uh, the hand and eye coordination kind of thing. But uh, I did that until I was about nine years old. And then uh, Steve Irvin, which is my team owner now, mm -hmm. he actually bought me some, uh, some Bandolero cars for me to race when I was nine years old. And I did that. And my first ever race in a car, I won, my, you know, I won the race. So I was like, you know what, man, I love racing motorcycles. And I, you know, that, I, at that time, I thought that that's what I wanted to do. Mm -hmm. But as soon as I raced my first race and I ended up winning, I was like, you know what, this is what I want to do. So uh, I've been racing that ever since. But now I'm racing the Legend, uh, actually racing the Legends cars right after Bandolero. So uh, that was really fun. Um, that, like I said, it taught me a bunch as well. Mm -hmm. But to come out of Legends, you know, knowing that David Reagan, Reed Sorensen, a lot of guys that, you know, ran in the Cup Series and are, uh, won or still are, it's uh, it's pretty cool to, to come out of there. But uh, this year we're focused on uh, on the K&N Pro Series, mm -hmm. uh, which is you know comes to a place like Richmond, and uh, we come to some pretty cool tracks. So I'm really looking forward to this year. Now, how cool is it to be racing here? This is a fan favorite. Some big names have raced here. Absolutely. And now this week you got two races in one night. Mm -hmm. How does it feel? Because you've never been on this track before, right? Yeah, yes, ma'am. Yeah, we, uh, we practice today went really well. Um, I think we got a really good car. It's going to be really difficult because you really got to keep the tires on it, and this place is somewhere I've never been. So yeah. I'm looking forward to Richmond just to know that I've always dreamed to come in here and knowing all the hard work and effort that people have put, it, put into me to, to be able to come here. Uh, home crowd and, and my home racetrack now to be able to race at uh, the age of 15 is going to be uh, a true honor. And it's so awesome. You have some great sponsors. You have a great crew. When mm -hmm. you look at your car, you see all those sponsors' names and your name yes, right there above. Tell me how that feels. Well, it feels great to have a great partner, you know, 75-year-old brand like Krispy Kreme Donuts. And, and we had just signed on this year, uh, True Mood Chocolate Milk. And Toyota's given us all their great support. So uh, we got all our great partners as well. You know, I can't thank my PSA sponsors from uh, Wiley X, Anderson's Maple Syrup, and and impact all the people that keep me safe as well. So uh, to come to the racetrack and have a lot of fun, but being safe and knowing that uh, each and every time you get on the racetrack, you got the opportunity to go out and win. So uh, I've been very fortunate to have uh, great equipment as well. And, and how important is your crew in really being safe and making sure that you succeed? Um, they do such a great job. My crew, uh, I can't thank my team guys enough. I thank them each and every time I see them, uh, just to know that all these hours that they put into these race cars, people don't really realize one little bolt or nut that falls off that race car, your day could be over. Right. So it takes a lot of uh, man hours and, and getting in there and working as hard as you can to, to, to make all this stuff go right. And I'm sure everybody at home wants to know, do you get free donuts? Absolutely. <laughs> that's that's an easy question right there. So getting donuts and then get some true mood chocolate milk. Uh, some kind of some kind of a deal right there. Now, also, you are racing against guys who are sometimes like twice your age. Right. Is it intimidating, or do you like kind of standing up to that challenge? Well, you know what? I just look at it as a, it's another race, and I go out there to do one thing and one thing only is to go out there and win. So when you race against guys that are older and uh, kind of look down on you a little bit, you just go out there and do what you got to do, and uh, I go out there to win. Well, thank you so much, Gray. And well, thank you so much for having me. Look for him in the future.